Welcome to the Living Life Show, and if you've been listening to the show, you know we talk about lots of gadgets. And this week we found a really fun one, and this is the Baker's Edge. Uh, if you like the edges of brownies, and you always fight over who gets the edge instead of having to have the cakey middle guy, this is the pan for you. It's really a lot of fun. You can use it to cook not just brownies, you can do uh, lasagnas or cheesecakes, you know, the bar or the bars. You know, like the lemon bars and that kind of thing. It's a lot of fun. Uh, when you get it from bakersedge.com, you get your pan, the special correctly sized spatula, and because it's for brownies, you get your glass of milk with the one or two brownie meter. So, you know, you can portion your milk correctly for your brownie goodness. Really simple to use. I've already got the oven reheating. Take my generic nonstick cooking spray, cut the pan, and they send you some really great recipes for lasagna and cheesecake and brownies, but I'm a firm believer in the Costco stuff. So I have my brownie mix, my water, oil, and eggs. Now this is just incredibly cool. I've got my brownie mix all mixed up. Just kind of spoon it into the pan here. I'm kind of distributing it a little bit between the little snaky sides. Tap it down a little bit. Uh, just kind of helps even it out. You get a nice flowy thing. Bishop is going to help me put this in the oven, which I'm baking at 325 for about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. And remember, brownies always still look a little underdone when they're finished. So check them with a toothpick and then get them out of the oven. Okay, it's 20 minutes. Brownies are out of the oven. Now while we wait for them to cool, I think I'll go walk the dog. Is it time to go for a walk? Okay, the dog has been walked. The brownies are cool. I have my specially constructed spatula. And even considering the first brownie is always the toughest, the spatula works brilliantly. one brownie portion of milk, and we're all set.